I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. Hello from the Broadway Farmers Market, where the Port of Tacoma has a booth. Summer is the port's busiest time for community outreach, and you'll see us out and about across Pierce County. Hi there. We're telling folks about our boat tours, free boat tours of the Port of Tacoma. In June, port staff went to farmers markets in Lakewood and Tacoma. This summer, you'll also see the port's booth at markets in Stillicum, Ording, Puyallup, Gig Harbor, and DuPont. Visitors can stop by to find out how the port works and ask questions. It's really exciting to live in a city where there's a deep water port and a dynamic working port to be able to watch all of that. So this is very cool to be able to see that they're getting people actively involved and showing them what's going on down there. The port will also have a booth at Tacoma Pride on July 13th and at the Mosaic Festival July 27th. On August 22nd, the port is sponsoring Darren Jones and Last Man Standing at Puyallup's Concerts in the Park. And on Sunday, August 18th, the port will host our annual boat tours, which last year drew more than a thousand people. Free tickets will be available starting July 10th. For details, visit portoftacoma.com. The port is leading a new effort to prepare for emergencies. In late June, the port held a tabletop exercise simulating a fire on a car carrier ship. The exercise helped responders go through a fictional emergency step by step to improve coordination. The primary objective here is to prevent loss of life and to preserve our critical infrastructure and minimize damage. The tabletop exercise included local governments and businesses from across western Washington. A new report shows progress reducing maritime emissions in Puget Sound. Between 2005 and 2021, diesel particulate matter dropped 82 percent and greenhouse gas emissions declined 10 percent. The Puget Sound emissions inventory is conducted every five years and the 2021 numbers were just released. The inventory considers maritime emissions all around Puget Sound, including at the Port of Tacoma. The Port and the Northwest Seaport Alliance are working on projects to reduce greenhouse gases like new electric vehicles and shore power at more container terminals so ships can plug in and shut off their diesel engines. We are making the major investments today so that when we have this press conference in 10 years, you will see the results. Last year, Port of Tacoma commissioners voted to reach net zero for greenhouse gases under the port's direct control by 2040, accelerating the target from 2050. A specialized electric cargo moving vehicle is coming to the port. This spring, commissioners approved buying an electric yard truck, similar to the ones now used in the South Intermodal Yard, using grant money from the state settlement with Volkswagen over emissions violations. The charging station's mobile, so we can take the charger to where the truck needs to be well, that's nice. and, and minimize our infrastructure investments. The new electric yard truck will be stationed at Terminal 7 and be used to demonstrate the technology for port tenants. Tacoma Public Schools is sharing new renderings of the future Maritime 253 Skills Center. The center will provide career and technical education to students across Pierce County free of charge and help grow the workforce of the future on the Tacoma Tide Flats. The school district will build Maritime 253 at the Port Maritime Center along the Foss Waterway, right next door to a new port business office. The port is also helping Tacoma Public Schools introduce students to maritime careers this summer. In June, commissioners approved $30,000 in annual funding for the next three years for summer certification programs. High school students can earn credentials in 13 areas, including merchant mariner, warehousing and logistics, and environmental science. The Port of Tacoma Commission meets each month at the Fabulage Center off Port of Tacoma Road. Meetings start at noon and public comment is welcome. To get agendas by email, sign up at portoftacoma.com for Peerside, our monthly newsletter. And we hope you'll follow the port on social media. 
Finally this month, celebrating pride. The pride flag went up at the Ports Administration Building June 18th, the day commissioners designated LGBTQ Pride Month. The port will have the rainbow logo up on social media through July, Tacoma's official month for celebrating pride. Thanks for joining us from the Broadway Farmer's Market. A new edition of Working Waterfront is coming in August.